Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes! I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amata. God, Butch, why don't you just leave me alone? She's what are you gonna do, Butch? Amata? Go run leave and tell alone. your daddy on us? You think you're special because your daddy is the overseer? <laughs> show it to her, Butch. Stay away from me. What's the matter? Daddy's girl gonna cry? Tell her, Butch. I look like I want a chit-chat nosebleed. What, you want another beating? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Damn right you will. Get lost. I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amana. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Let's go into the storeroom, Amada. I'll show you a good time. Hi, Sam. Go ahead and take. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> Yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two, while working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another Vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment?
Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. Issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Thanks for your help, jerk. It's good to know I can count on you when I'm in trouble. Buzz off, nosebleed. Back off. Yes? Hello. Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. I've got other things. See you tomorrow. Yo, teach. I'm done. Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Allow me to savor the moment. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You've surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser! Who would have thunk it? You're so full of it. That isn't true. I'm all done, Mr. Brotch. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, just as I thought. You're slated for the engineering track. Congratulations, Mr. Hannon. You've passed the GOAT. Oh, gee. That's not so bad. Engineering, all right. Good to see you. Mother can't wait to find out if I'll be going into science or home economics. Science? Uh, well, perhaps. Let's see what the goat says. Well, well. Maintenance department. I hope your mother will be pleased. I'm sure Stanley will be. Good what? to see you. That's impossible. I'm telling Father. He won't let you get away with this. Bye. Yes? Back. What is it, Phoebe? Hey, what did you put for number 10? Hey there. Looks like the diner is going to get a new fry cook. I'll just say this once. Hold the mustard, extra pickles. <laughs> Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. Look where I ended up. Just between you and me, a 
whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. I'm finished here. Don't you want to find out what you got? Now, I already know what it says. Hardly takes a rocket scientist to crack that joke of a test. 